This is the intro to the Japanese taste testing over the coming days. I got a little bundle from Japan and I thought I would do a taste test with you. I cannot read Japanese and the only Japanese I know is from the limited anime that I've ever watched. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so then I will do an outro as well. <laughs> and then the cherry blossom bag. Japanese yay! I'll try this one. Oops. We're gonna try this one. Let's see this one. Mm. I don't know what this tastes like. So cream without the sour. Today's Japanese snack is this thing here with an onion head carrying an onion head. This is what it looks like. Japanese snack. Tastes like tastes like corn. I can't taste the onion though. The next Japanese snack is this one. It says Merry, I'm assuming it means Merry Christmas. And I was craving something sweet, and lo and behold, it's something chocolatey. It's so bizarre because it's chocolate coated. Tastes like a corn wafer inside. I'm very confused. The first one that I tried, which is this one, I would give that a 5 out of 10 for flavor. This one would be 5.5. Just like that, break is over. Well, I'm gonna try this teriyaki snack. And it, it's like this. It looks like a cat with holding a burger with eyeballs. <laughs> This is what it looks like. No, like, you know, I don't like my. It smells house. like noodles. The, either, like, you don't mm. taste it the way I like it. Yeah, this is supposed like, to be kind of like so, the Japanese. Yeah, so for me, it's So, when I woke up, I was just quivering. Are you supposed to taste like a burger? Do you have a burger? It's like a puff snack. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. 6.5, 7 out of 10. Okay, we're trying out this snack for the wrestling person. This <laughs> funny looking cat on a scooter. And then this one. The same cat with a crown and this crazy looking scientist over here. So let's try this one first. So that absolutely went everywhere and I'm going to try this now. Ready? I don't know the name of the Japanese help. But it reminds me of you know Mr. Noodles? When you eat Mr. Noodles raw? I, I, I used to do that as a kid. And you put the seasoning packets in. It reminds me of that. I don't know what flavor this is. But it tastes just like that. Probably beef flavored. Starchy aftertaste. We're gonna do this orange one. Oops. We're gonna do this orange one next. Oh, it's that corn puff again. It reminds me of a sour cream chip. Ready? Mmm. 
four out of ten. It's so kind of sweet at the end. It tastes all hot. This one tastes a bit better. This one would give six out of ten because I'm used to that taste. We're gonna try this purple one. Oh, it looks spicy. It looks very spicy. Hmm. This purple one's better than the, the orange one. Just a weird cheese sweet flavor at the end. I usually love cheese, but it tastes odd. And next for Japanese snacks for tonight. Now for this after work snack, I have this with a corn cat and the chef had opening a corn in a pot. It looks like the typical corn stick. Mmm! Sweet. Like a sweet corn. We have something similar in Philippines. Mmm! 8 out of 10. I also like the purple version of this, which is spicy. Mm. Smooth black butter. Me, 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 me. Hi, sir. I'm not as the biggest in coconut wood. Mm -hmm. I wish there was more. I was looking at it. More Japanese snacks today. So this one is the cat, but now it's in a spacesuit right here. As you see, let's take a look what it looks like. It looks brown. I don't know if it's sweet or savory. I don't know if this is pork or something savory. I tend to like these sticks. I would say, I would say six out of 10. 6.5, almost 7, because it's savory. And then the next one we have is this thing, which I don't know what that is, but it looks spicy. Looks like this. It's shiny. It looks like shiny tofu. Oh. It's like a fish. It tastes like squid. It smells fishy, but it looks like tofu. Hmm, not bad. Has flavor, but it's small, so 5 out of 10. I wish it was bigger. And it's stuck to the wrapping. Well, I hope you like part one of me trying Japanese snacks. Um, I'm going to put this under the foodie. I'll make a foodie category on my YouTube. Um, because I haven't done any vlogmas. I've been working too much. And this is, yes, this is one of my winter coats. So hit the subscribe button on Instagram. 
and like the video if you liked it for more videos like it um and thank you so much for watching so i must say the japanese snacks the portions are very small but part two and three possibly coming up next um and i will also post this on my instagram so give it a like there i can't believe i have a huge following for for well it's been a couple years but still <laughs> um thank you so much i hope you have a good morning because i'm just coming off of a night shift so it is quite dark bye now